Greetings, summoners, and welcome to a special episode of Pimp My Kingdom. Hey, so you wanna be a player, but you weren't too smart. You gotta hit that up to get a pimp out. That's right, we're doing an episode of Pimp My Arc on Sky Kingdoms. Now before everyone gets all excited and goes, I don't want to watch Sky Kingdoms videos, hold on a second. We've done Sky Kingdoms videos in the past. Sky Kingdoms is a game made by Seven Pirates, and it's based on the same concept of Arc of War, but a different developer at Seven Pirates is the one who is backing the project. So a lot of things are similar, but some of the things are different. The most important thing that I think is noticeable about it is it has a more cartoony, whimsical vibe. It's way less serious. Um, but don't kid, don't kid yourself. The spending features and the advanced tier and the price is all the same. They, they know how to make their money, right? But here's a good example. This is Pink Knight. This is also Stella in Ark of War. A lot of the commanders are the same. Some of them are different. And it does affect the balancing of the game. I do like the Sky Kingdom's balance a little better extra. Or I, I do like the Sky Kingdom's balance a little better. And I'll talk about that a little bit more in this video. Uh, but look at this character text. He only... Pink Knight, this is Stella, the ma he's a male though, he only wears armor on important occasion. He usually wears a dress. But uh, this is an account by Zero Cool. He's a community member. He also plays Ark of War, formerly uh, an FTM member. He actually started playing Sky Kingdoms because of our channel. Uh, so I haven't done a lot of Sky Kingdom stuff lately. It's not that there isn't great content to cover. There certainly is. It's just that I've been really busy with Ark of War, and I, I don't like that uh, Seven Pirates hasn't been advertising Sky Kingdoms that much. I mean, for example, at the time of making this video, there are only eight servers in the world right now. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, right? And mass maximum 500 players. Uh, so we're dealing with a player pool 10 times smaller than Ark of War easily. Uh, but Sky Kingdoms is still progressing along. They're actually picking up really fast progress. They actually already got the Dawn Hall. Uh, they just got Satalia. Um, so they're they're gathering speed on some of the commanders and research, but they're also like not catching up on some of the defensive meta and some of the, the gem meta. But anyway, I talked to Zero Cool and he said, uh, I want you to take a look at my, my kingdom. Tell me what you think I should do. Um, how does it relate to Ark of War and what can I learn from it? So Let's talk about Zero Cool. He's a 10 million power arc. He's about a year into Sky Kingdoms, and he's a Pink Knight or Stella main. Uh, now, I don't believe he has advanced tier, so let's jump in our research tab real quick and figure out where he needs to go from here. There's still a great event going on right now. Uh, whenever there's a, uh, an Arc of War event, Sky Kingdoms is usually having something very similar. Uh, there are a couple of different buildings here. Most of them are just like, you know, paid to, or free to play stuff. Like Explorer's Guild, you can get free chests every day by unexploring them. I only do the chests. I don't I don't uncover everything. Uh, but you have a lot of chisels. My God. Uh, if you want to collect your resources, instead of having one of each type, you can build your own type and choose what you want the most of. And then you can just uh, shake the screen, and it picks them all up for you. Shake, 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 shake. Bing. That's really nice. One of my favorite features. Uh, but let's talk about his research. If I could ever find the tab. It's Academy. There we go. So he only has Academy 20. Can't go into advanced tier yet. He has been going down, I believe he said airships or infantry? Infantry, because he's Stella. That's right. Okay, so all the way down to tier 7 conscripts. Or conscripts. Tier 7 tier infantry on Sky Kingdoms is the same as tier 7 on Arc of War. And he's just getting mastery. So this is the most important. You need to start doing this research immediately. Even when you do get tier 9, you still need to go back and get infantry mastery 2 and infantry mm -hmm. mastery 1. Absolutely essential. I would kind of ignore, you said you're a walker uh, secondary. I would kind of ignore the walker stuff until you get that the infantry stuff figured out. Because that's where again, the heart of your money, the heart of your army is going to be. Um, now, of course, with any account, we like to take an angle. Now, what people don't know about Sky Kingdoms is that uh, it is so hard to get chisels or spirit stones or energy stones. Uh, so you'll look at this account and you'll see none of his stuff has second jewels on it. And you can have second jewels, uh, but in order to get them, you literally need to score in the top top four of the galactic battle, uh, or you need to pay a ton of money during events, like $600. It's insane. So this is the chisel. This allows you to open a second gem slot. But for the most part, most players are only playing off one, maybe two gem sets, not three, not spirit stones. I don't even know if they're in the game. Maybe. Maybe they are, but not, not many players have them. Uh, but he's a pink knight with tier 7, who's on his way to tier 9, with still a ways to go. So the most important thing to remember about Stella is that um, she's a great commander in regards to one-slot busting. 
But uh, she's also a great toe-to-toe -to -toe commander if you want to run like Ares or Virgo. Uh, I think Virgo is actually different in Sky Kingdoms, but Sagittarius is the same. Uh, so even the Gemini is okay on her at tier 7, I do recommend Sagittarius because if you do run into higher troops, higher tier troops, you want to be able to do that damage. And Sagittarius is going to do a lot more for you uh, than Gemini, which honestly may do nothing for you. So let me see. There's Virgo here. Let's see if it does it. Am I wrong about that? I could be wrong. Oh, strength and weaken. Postpones enemy actions and reduces their attack. Now, it's the same. I remember one of them is different. Yeah, this is it. Ares. Ares on Sky Kingdoms and maybe other things too. Um, it actually triggers a shield. Like Lilith's skill, it triggers a shield to uh, absorb damage instead of lowering your opponent's attack to zero. Uh, so slightly different there. And I don't feel like going through all that right now. Uh, but for the most part, like Leo ignores defense. Sagittari uh, Sagittarius ignores uh, HP. Scorpio doubles damage. T Taurus double damage. Uh, those are the main gems, right? So Stella's got to be running Sagittarius. So right now he's running Gemini. That needs to change. Uh, he does have three chisels. He said that he doesn't want to use all three chisels on his gear, even though he should, because he could leave, right? He could leave the Geminis here, and he could put Sagittarius on the weapon, and then he could put uh, a chisel here and Sagittarius on the chest, chisel here, Sagittarius on the jewelry, which is two chisels, right? And then he could put... Uh, whatever helmet he wants here, probably... Who was he using here? Uh, maybe this one. I don't recommend this. You want to go more damage here, even though it is Stella. Uh, you can go your third chisel here, and then you can have the four-piece Sagittarius, right? So four-piece Gemini from one, two, three, and four, and then four-piece Sagittarius from one, two, three, and four, because the weapons right, don't need to be chiseled. You can get the Sagittarius on one and Gemini on the other. That's the old trick. We use it now on the uh, three set bonuses on Arc War all the time. But this is a massive Pink Knight, massive Stella, 100,000 leadership. Um, Boom Crow is Golem. Golem is a Walker main in Sky Kingdoms. Volhan is Rita? Uh, no, this is Cerberus. Volhan is Cerberus, just useless. Uh, Hecat is Vega, also an airship commander. That stays the same, B commander. But the only real one-slot bust uh, infantry commander other than uh, Pink Knight, right, S Stella, right? The other one would be Gilly, but Gilly is actually Delusion Star, and she's a walker. Gilly is a walker in Sky Kingdoms, but we do have Bronze Knight, and Bronze Knight is Nekajiro, and he is a great one-slot bust commander. So eventually, Pink Knight should probably be absorbed into Bronze Knight, uh, but they know how valuable... Uh, what is it, Nekajiro is. So in Sky Kingdoms, he's actually an A commander. So he's not a never sleep commander. He is hard to get. Uh, Stella is also, Pink Knight's also an A commander. Uh, but he has the ignore stats that you need in order to do damage to tier 11, tier 12. So that's one thing to consider moving forward. Um, Aya is the Rogers. Um, you know, he's not an airship commander. He doesn't need to level his Rogers up. Personally, I love having a good Roger, Dodger Rogers. Uh, but, you know, in Sky Kingdoms, if you're only Tier 7, maybe you don't get too excited just until you're Tier 9. Because remember, Tier 9 infantry also work on airships. Uh, let's see. This is Phantom. This is one of the new commanders. What is this? Uh, okay. It reduces damage by 1.5%. This is uh, Elixir? Yeah, this is Elixir. So they added Elixir. Elixir is also not bad. Um basically it's Stella with guaranteed triggers, but not may, maybe not as many mathematically. Um, but yeah, I mean, they're, they're getting all the commanders there, and uh, he is infantry as well. So anyway, I'm not going to go over the full details of what's different in Sky Kingdoms. I'm just going to focus on the fact that in infantry, you've got Nekajiro and Stella. In walkers, you've got Golem and Gilly uh, and Anna, which is Elf, which is still great. And there is no full metal in the Sky Kingdoms yet, so there is no Rogers counter. Rogers is still the big bad. You really need a big pink knight. Uh, or Gilly, or and that's that's, that's Walker, remember, uh, or or uh, or Neko to break through. Pink Knight, or uh, just Full Metal is not there yet. So Aya or Rogers is a huge problem. Um, still the best in the game in in Sky Kingdoms for certain. Uh, and then Delusions, or oh, sorry, who am I missing? Uh, airships, right? Aya is Rogers, and then Vega is Hecat, and that's really the meta in Sky Kingdoms right now. It's basically the same. Um, except Gilly's Neko and Full Metal's not in the game, which does change things. So, uh, you know, here's the thing. Zero Cool, 
grab Sagittarius. Use your three chisels here. He says he wanted to save one of his chisels uh, to build the, the, his new city dragon. Now, the city dragons are the same as Arcals, but they also have these other buffs called dragon skills where you can actually choose where you want like special buffs. You can get like healing capacity increased. Uh, there is uh, PvP stuff like back row gets bonus attack. Front row gets crit. Little things like that you can level up on your own just by PvPing and farming tiles. But in the Dragon Halls, in the Dragon, there is now the Otherworld Dragon, which has penetration. This is the Dawn Hall. Previously, we had the um, Auspicious Dragon, which was kind of like the Dominion Hall, but not exactly the same, I don't think. Yeah, it was like kind of mixed in with troop carry, carry capacity. Uh, marching speed, city movement speed. I don't know. It's kind of had a mix between the Armageddon Hall and... Um, the, the, the Dominion Hall. but So the other world Dragon, this is what it takes. It's going to take a very expensive Horn Crown, one Chisel, the Apoc, which is, aren't that cheap, and the Will of Iron, which is the Faction Helmet for Walkers. So very expensive. And uh, you do get Penetration, crit, crit Damage. It's really good stuff for a Stella build. Absolutely essential. But having two guaranteed hit stems on Stella is probably going to do more for you than an other world Dragon. Long story short is next time a uh, chance to get a chisel comes along, you need to jump on it right away. Um, you know, I, I, I do want to spend a th like 20 more minutes talking about Sky Kingdoms because I never cover it on this channel, but I'm not going to do it. If you guys like this video, give it a like. If you want to see more Pimp My Kingdoms, uh, or if you're interested in playing Sky Kingdoms, just know that I'm not fully endorsing Sky Kingdoms till the devil start advertising it again, but it is a, certainly a fun game. And Zero Cool started playing it because he just wanted a chance to like start over, start fresh. It's a younger game. Uh, it hadn't been fully defined yet, and you can kind of see where it's headed by watching Arc of War. So, Zero Cool, thanks for letting us do this. I should probably give your shout-outs to Unseen. Unseen is a great guild leader. has been the backbone of this guild for, oh God, since the beginning, I want to say. So, Zero Cool said thank you, Unseen. Appreciate that. And all the other guys in AMG, you guys uh, really make this a fun place, a fun guild to stay a part of. So, And that's really what this game is about. Community, friends. Um, just purpose, right? Logging in and having some time to, to, to burn with people you like and, and trying to get into some trouble. So until next time, boys, we'll see you tomorrow. My name is Melt and thanks for watching. All right, Loki, I, I have been playing Sky Kingdoms nonstop for the last year. We're actually in the Galactic Battle round of 16. And I don't make videos on it much. I want to, but I just haven't had a good reason. But uh, look what we found. He found me an ace. So I'm going to take his Stella with 120,000 something leadership, some walker, some infantry tier 7, a bunch of tier 2, versus my Hecot, my Vega. That's right, I'm a filthy Vega main, or succubus main in Sky Kingdoms. He says he was having trouble beating me. I'm twice his power. I'm 20 million power. But I have tier 9, so he has no ch Oh! I almost one-shot him. <laughs> oh, that's what happens. Tier nine versus tier seven, but uh, yeah, guys, I've been I've been playing Sky Kingdoms. Shh.